then his birdie putt at the third. Yeah, the big third, 230 yard par three, and that is lapping the field with a birdie there at number three. Again, at the par three seven. Yeah, gorgeous golf swing. Greg Kraft's always had a good swing. Beautiful hole here at the seventh. Hole location tucked in the back left, and he goes flag hunting in a quality shot for Greg Kraft. His second at the difficult par four eighth. Yeah, they're playing it up again today at 429. That tee shot in the fairway enables him to go flag hunting here at the eighth, and that he does. Beautiful shot. The par four ninth is second. Yeah, this is a quality iron shot. After driving at 30 yards past his playing partners, front right hole location, hard to get to. What a great shot by Goosen. Jim Furyk shot a two over par in his opening round but had a wonderful 64 yesterday bogey free and Furyk birdies the fourth that gets him to five under par and then Lanny Furyk backs it up with a birdie at the fifth yeah the really tough par three fifth beautiful shot in here by Furyk and the putter has been hot and right now it's staying hot for Jim Furyk that would get Furyk to six under par his birdie after that brilliant tee shot at seven. No doubt. This would be a great bounce back after the bogey at six. Got a good read from the putt. Stephen Ames. Oh, it looks good. Good <laughs> putt. Great two. Not many twos made at the seventh today. Yeah, the eighth just 429 today. Players can get this at this yardage. Otherwise, it's been a big golf hole. And great shot by Tom Byram. The 15th downhill par three, playing 201 today. T placement on the second deck. Bernhard coming off that nice birdie at 14. Nice round of golf going. A nice golf shot right there, right over top of the flag stick. Fred Couples now at the ninth. Drove it in the right fairway bunker. Didn't have a very good lie. Got it out short of the green. Rolled all the way back to there. And much like yesterday, he had a nice little pitch in there. Good chance to save par. Retief Goosen now at the 13th. Driver, aggressive play. Yeah, it looks like it's going a little bit right, John. Hole cut on the right side. Just on the front edge of the green. What a shot. That was an aggressive play. Iron shot from Steve Flesh. Par putt for Jim Furyk. Oh. Man, is he rolling the ball nicely. Every putt he makes seems to go dead center. Yeah, that was a big putt coming back after the delay. 12 playing very long today. This putt got to be about 60 feet for West Short, moving way to his left. How about this? Okay. And that gets West Short. To red figures at one under. Gene Sowers finds the right bunker off the tee at the downhill par three, 15th. Two bogeys and a birdie on his card. No, I'll make that two birdies on his card. Gets him back to level par for the day. Plus one for the championship. Has not made a birdie today. And there you go. Couples finally makes a birdie. And yeah, you know, he's five off the lead. Kraft from the bunker at 14. Did not look like a good lie, but boy, did he handle that well. Beautiful shot. He's been battling. Back at the seventh, had a decent look, but gives us one a big hit. This has got a good line uh, right in the center. He did get a good by on that one. He, the ball did not go back to the right. It hung straight, had some speed. Birdie and a bogey so far for Fred. See if he can he make another putt. Oh, yes, he can. I think he found his range. Gets Fred Couples into red figures. Just seems like, but all important to get this putt in the hole and put himself in the final group with Furyk tomorrow. I mean, a three putt par at 13, and the poor wedge at 16 are just two of them. And there it is, Retief Goosen, the two-time U.S. Open champion, in at three under after a four under 66.
primary or that uh, intermediate cut, choosing to put it down the hill. There you go. Now we're starting to see some putts go in. Just a, coming across the green, going to move from left to right once it gets on the putting surface. Wet, firm sand will help this. Yeah, and it's back downhill as well, rolling out nicely. Very well done. 231 will carry that penalty area on the left-hand side. Oh, this is hit nicely. This is going to carry up on the green. He's got 263 total. He did that yesterday, wow. and that is some shot for Jim Fury. I have to take that back. I did not think Jim Fuhr could get here in two, but a wonderful second shot there. Tough putt for Stephen Ames. He needs something to go in. Well, made the long one back at 14. Near miss at 15. Yeah. Five. You called it, Lanny. He makes them in bunches. Just a near miss back at... 15 and makes it here at 16. So two of the last three holes, long putts hold by Stephen Ames. And he's still good at him. Couples will have that to save his par and shoot a one under 69. Par for a one under 69 today. So Fred in red figures in a tie for fifth. Just to follow up on John Cook's point, yesterday the scoring average was five shots over par, 75. Great angle for Jim Furyk here, Billy Ray. Yeah, and the lie is actually very nice. Had an intermediate cut, just 126 yards. Take dead aim. And that's exactly what he's doing, Lanny. Yes, he How did. That? Just stuffs it. Beautiful shot. Just trying to extend that lead. At 18 to be in the final pairing tomorrow if he can get to four under. Yeah, just got to get it started. This is really quick. Well, he buried it. Center cut. Good for Stephen Ames. That's great performance. Gutsy play down the stretch for Stephen Ames. So Ames with a two under 68. I think a lot of the work he's been putting in has really paid off today. Yeah! It wasn't his A game, but he birdies three of his last six. And Jim Furyk shoots a four under 66.